There's a lot of criticism because terminology that we use is not someone else's terminology. Now you would say, well, it's because that terminology is not found in the Bible. Well, that's what they're going to say, but the truth is they use plenty of terminology that's not in the Bible themselves. But because the terminology we're using isn't terminology they're using, that they have a problem with it. So if I use the word education or describe it as a curriculum because it actually accomplishes the same as that, then they have issues with it. So I'm, every once in a while, I think maybe I ought to form these sentences in terminology that's actually in the Bible. Guess what? They're not using that either, but at least that's in the Bible. I'm going to make some remarks here that are not about our study today right here at the outset, and I wanted to do them on the taped portion of the DVD on purpose uh, because I, I want to be clear uh, what I'm thinking about this, and um, some of you may be aware of a controversy that's uh, brewing at which we are at the heart of. Uh, if you're not, don't worry about it. If you are, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, evidently, um, I guess we're on the radar. Uh, because uh, my understanding, and I don't know the de all the details of this and don't want to know all the details of it, but I do know enough, and here's why. I've gotten many emails in the last week from people who are coming to our defense. You didn't know you were being defended, did you? Um, they're coming to our defense because evidently we became the main focus of the, the conference in which w people were warned of the danger of uh, what we're doing. Now, I, I'm saying this on tape, so I want to be clear about this. It's not important for me to tell you all the things that were said about us. That won't do any of us any good. I don't know all of them, and, um, and I'm glad. <laughs> I don't have to get over it. The main issue, though, the main legitimate issue is how we see that verse in Romans 8 about there being a heir of God inheritance and a joint heir inheritance. And so that's become a real focus of attention. So um, here's my official position. This is the way I've answered it to everybody that sent me an email. In fact, there's even now some YouTube videos that are circulating around in which we're made mention of. And um, so here's, here's, here's where I am on that. Because of where we are in Romans chapter 12, because of what we're studying, and because this is supposed to be working effectually in us, I understand that every one of these men are brothers in Christ that have taken issue with us uh, are part of the body of Christ. And because they are, uh, my attitude about them is this. Whatever I say to them or about them needs to be with their godly edification in mind. I'm not interested in producing a video to defend our position. There's hundreds of hours on the, <laughs> on the Internet for free already. I don't think one more is going to help. Uh, I, I'm not interested in getting in a debate. I don't have time for that. And at my age, the clock is ticking. So I'm thinking, we got a lot to do. I need to focus on what we're doing. Um, <clears throat> I, um, I will say that what I'm doing right now, I'm not, I, I don't want anyone to interpret this as, well, Brother Mike's taking the high road. No, that's not what I'm doing. Or, Brother Mike doesn't like a good debate. <laughs> you, you know better from my old days. But what you do know is this. If I'm going to love these men the way I'm called on to love them, then the things that I would say have to be for their edification. And if it's not going to work to that, then my Heavenly Father is not interested in it at all because that's what He's interested in. And I know He loves them unconditionally and I'm called to do the same thing. And so I'm, I'm going to do that and I would encourage this body 
uh, here to do that as well. And so the end of this is, the end of this part about it is, and, and by the way, yes, we probably have some other places in which we honestly disagree about how we see the Scripture, but guess what? I'm not their tutor and governor. So it's not my position to, you know, let, let me put them in the crosshairs and show everybody where they're wrong. I obviously think I'm right or wouldn't be teaching it this way. Uh, but um, I'm going to count it all joy to be criticized for an area of sonship. And I'm going to rejoice that we're on the radar enough that some of the best known people in the country that believe the kinds of things that we do think we're worthy of some attention. <laughs> I'm going to view these brethren with the godly love that my heavenly Father has for them, and by that I'm going to bring Him glory and bring them benefit as other members of the body of Christ. That's my position on that. What I would like for our church's position to be is this, that we would pray for their advancement in godly edification and pray that our love for them would abound I, we're not in this alone. There are some other Sonship churches that are in the crosshairs I'm going to tell you about an well. email that I got. Remember that little deal that I talked to you about last week off camera about the conference and all of that kind of business? And there was a man that wrote, that wrote me a letter and uh, wrote me an email actually and he was very defensive toward us and, and, um, and, and toward the others who had been included in that, you know, controversy and he said I'm gonna contact some folks and let them know that I didn't appreciate you know what they did about that and uh, I wrote him back and I just said in a nutshell uh, look those men are all part of the body of Christ and here's how much I know my father values and esteems them his son suffered everything that he suffered and died on the cross and if that's how he feels about them then I'm gonna to have to value and esteem them the same way it doesn't mean I don't understand what they're saying it doesn't mean that uh, they're right too and I'm right too it doesn't mean that I just have to have this little sugary personality that doesn't recognize anything what it means is they are part, you know what I understand? They have been dealt the measure of faith and it's the exact same one that got dealt to me. And because of that, now I didn't say this to him about that. What I said to him was in reference to what had been done on their behalf just back at the cross. By the way, that's not the measure of faith. But what got dealt to them at the cross showed just how much God valued and esteemed them and no matter what they do I'm still supposed to maintain a certain attitude toward them the guy wrote me back after I, I did that kind of expounded on that a little bit and he wrote me back and I'm just gonna give you the gist of it he said if this is what sonship produces in someone talking about what I would said to him he said then sign me up 